is Joanne from A Fresh Perspective. Just thought I'd uh, jump on to let you know, or show you a little tutorial of what I do when it comes to painting. So this is my first time using Seco Muse, soft matte. I'm all about flat, and the soft matte is supposed to be the flattest of flat there is. And I'm going to get rid of the beige walls in my kitchen, which I absolutely hate. First thing I do, which I didn't do on the videos, I didn't want for to make all the noise, is I will use, not a screw please, it was harder, but a, um, a nail, and I punched holes all the way around inside the rim, just going straight down. And what that does is when I go to dump into, this is my favorite little handy cup, I can hold it this way, or like that, which I find is much more comfortable for me. Has a little magnet inside, to hold your uh, paintbrush in nice. And my favorite paintbrush, can you tell? <laughs> this is the Wooster Shortcut. Rubber handle, fits so nicely in, holds a lot of paint. It's, to me, the only cutting brush there is. So let's get started so I can show you how this goes down. Naturally, when you're on video, you're going to make a mess. See, when I swoop around like this, if I did not have those holes in there, I would not get this as clean as this. It would be just pushing it around and around forever. So by having the little holes in the rim, I'm able put the paint back in the can where it belongs. There we have that. And there we go. See, I love to wipe my hands on my apron, nice and dirty paint apron. So you just get your brush not too loaded. I kind of just smash it against the sides like this. It just squeezes out the little ac access without taking too much off. And then I just get a feel for the... And I just start pushing up to the edge. Push up to the edge and come along. The previous mess on the ceiling was the previous painter, not me. Just had to say that. And just run it along, no tape needed. And what I like about this is that you can get it loaded. If you don't have this brush, what I find is I've tried other brushes that look very similar with wooden handles, look the same, look like it's got the same amount of bush in the brush, but it just doesn't hold the paint like this one does. And then when you get going up here, your first coat would be just as streaky as all get out. But this gives you nice, nice good coverage with the brush. And like I said, you just seen how quickly I went over that. And that's about how far down I would go. I trim all the way top and bottom, trim out everything, and then I do my rolling afterwards. So I'll jump back on here, give you a little uh, quickie on how I roll. And other than that, we'll talk to you soon.